Someone on the forums requested that I would make a hybrid cannon that was able to scatter TNT everywhere and also be able to blow through wet walls. So I've tried my best to replicate what he wanted. Um, here we go. So what you're going to do is place two blocks to line up where you want to fire and make a small barrel like trench there and put water at the very end of it like so. Put a half slab at the very end of there and put four dispensers. I would recommend four dispensers is normal enough um, to achieve whatever distance you might want. You then want to put redstone up and down these dispensers in a U shape. Now you're going to want to make where the projectile dispenser will go, like so. And make sure you delete that block. You must delete that block. If you don't delete that block, your cannon will blow up. If you really want a block there, you can put a glass block there. Um, but otherwise, do not have a block there. And then make a small staircase leading up to the dispenser itself with some redstone on it, like so. And go on the other side and do the same thing, but this time you're going to make it one block higher. And you're also going to want to put a piston on it around the dispenser, like so. And then just fill up the blocks below that, so that the sand is something to rest on. This piston will push the sand. Bit of confusion here. Yep, so you just want you want to have redstone directly into the block, into the piston itself, or the block below the piston, or perhaps a block behind the piston. But you need redstone signal going directly into it. So this is what you should have now, before any kind of repeaters. So you want to add 11 repeaters to this side. To the piston side and you want them all to be on full delay besides the 11th piston beside the 11th repeater so every repeater for the piston is to be on full delay four ticks or five ticks certainly four clicks apart from the last one which is to be on normal just no clicks and one tick and then you want to uh, put redstone like that around the comparator and turn the comparator on and place seven repeaters leading up to the last suspensor. Having a bit of trouble trying to work out how to make seven. And just place a block so those all connect up and then just connect everything up like so. And just go ahead and add as much delay as you want. I wouldn't add delay to every single repeater because there's a chance your cannon might blow up. Um, it's just a risk. I don't want to be responsible for anyone's redstone lossage. So I would, I would start with about five repeaters on full delay for that dispens for that last dispenser there, and then just go ahead and test it, make sure everything works. It does. Boom! There we go, and you've blown in, kind of. Okay, so I'll show you how to stack sand here. So this cannon's kind of it's easy to work. You've just got to get the knack of it and get used to the cannon itself. Whoops! Nice click. So you just want to go ahead and before you launch, you always want to check your TNT. Always. So I'm actually going to be firing right over to that wall. So I've got three dispensers full of TNT, the first three dispensers. I would recommend just, depending on your distance, if it's a similar distance to Ming, then you want to start out with that. And just proceed to place 10 blocks on top of the of, on top of the cobweb. Make sure you place the sand block directly on top of the cobweb, and then just break the last, block, the last block like so. And make sure you delete the redstone going into the repeater, because you don't want any Exposure, explosive TNT right now because you can't block the wall right now anyway, you need to stack sand. So you'll see you'll, need, you'll get a nice type of fan effect and then you'll stack sand like that. Show that again. And you've just stacked a bunch of sand. So with a typical sky level base, you'll have to do this maybe f four or five times if you get it right. But this is only a demonstration base, so it's, it should only take me a couple shots. Another way to do it is also to um, build a couple blocks up above the cobweb and drop pieces of sand onto the cobweb. It's a quicker way of doing it rather than having to build up and then end the barrel down. It's an easier way to do it, but you don't quite get the same effect. It doesn't seem to work quite as well. So, I mean, do you want speed or do you want um, easiness or do you want efficientness? So we go, I've stacked up a bunch of sand now. I would go ahead and probably do one more blast, I think. So you can just do that, it's a, it's a quicker way of doing it. Um, but it's, in my experience, it doesn't seem to be as good as actually just stacking up 20 blocks above the cobblestone manually. And just make sure you don't you don't do that and leave those blocks there, or else you can and will blow up. So I'll do one more stack of sand. 
like so. Now I'll show you the difference between 20 blocks and doing it by and doing it the way the drop technique. Go away fire just TNT. So you want the T you want the sand to be stacked just above the height of your can, like so. And when you're ready to blast in, replace that redstone and add about seven to eight bits of sand and just make sure your delay is right. And then you're ready to fire. Double check your dispensers to make sure you haven't used up all your TNT and fire. Yeah. Got enough TNT here. And you can see we're in. And about five shots were in through that first layer. 